Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Big Blue. We're coming back with another video. We're just going to hop right into it. As usual, the link is going to be a description of the provider of the video. Link is going to be in the description of the provider of the video and their channel. This is going to be from Bodycam Files. If you guys want to listen to me talk, go ahead and watch the full video there. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this one. This one is called Entitled Girl Think That She's Above the Law. I'm just going to assume that's, that uh, Florida is just one of those states where they just release that all the body cams is just public public record. And probably the only state that and Wyoming. I think it was Wyoming. That and Wyoming. No, and Georgia. I don't know. Why am I not getting any other states? I guess Florida is just popular because y'all are crazy. Y'all need to calm down. Y'all need to chill. Florida, relax, please. Let's get on with this one. I would like to know what justice you did, though. Okay, hop over there. Blue head. Blue head. <laughs> that l <laughs> Blue head. Bro, there's only... <laughs> Bro, there's only oh my god. Bluehead? Like there's only so many insults now. Nowadays there's only like so very few little insults that really get under people's skin. But Bluehead? Lord. Over there. She is red. She must have been screaming at the top of her lungs. Bluehead. Bluehead? Look at her face. Like, what is you think? You think you said something serious? Like, you you get into his head. He he's like, oh my gosh, she called me a bluehead. Urgh, I just want to. Mm, and now his face is gonna turn as red as yours. Like, calm down. It's just that alcohol, man. What is that? A dragon on her chest? A flower? Some mountain ranges? I don't know. Close your door. Close your door. Hey, get back in your f***ing car! Um, get back in your car! No, I'm not. I've parked twice already. 6205 dispatch. Females walking away from the vehicle. Take I've parked already. Put your hands behind your back. You're not Wait, you... <laughs> Hold on. This is how you know she's drunk. From the jump. You didn't even... Like, what are you even doing? You're... Nah, you drunk, bro. You didn't even park in the what parking spot. What is that? Spot. Like, what is going on? You are that intoxicated. You didn't even park in the parking spot. You just saw that the cops was behind you and then thought that if you park, then you'll be good. Nah, girl. And you're parking bad in the parking spot, bro. Car! Get back in your car! No, I'm not. I parked twice. 6205 dispatch. Females walking away from the vehicle. Take I parked unit. already. Put your hands behind your back. You're not I walking away from the traffic stop. Put your hands behind your back. Get in. Oh, put go. your hands behind your back. Please go. Put your hands Get behind your, your hands back. Put your hands me. behind your back. Get your hands. Put your hands Stop. behind your back. What is wrong? Put no, your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Get off now. Put your hand behind your back. No, put your hand behind your back. What is now. wrong? No. Stop. Put your other hand behind your back. Sorry, babe. No. Hey, man. I'll put. Get off of me. dispatch. I got one female resisting counties out with me. Oh, Put your fucking hand behind your back like I told you. But I did nothing wrong. Yes, you uh, did. What did I do wrong? Ow. Stand up. Stop. I will... Uh, 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 no, you're not going to walk away from a traffic stop. It, tra it was not a traffic stop. Sorry. It was not. Are you serious? Are you serious? For real, for real. Are you serious? Thanks, Appreciate you stopping. Really, really. Yeah, you can't just walk away from a traffic Comment stop. I didn't. It's all on Thank camera. You. It's all on camera. Really it's all on How camera. is it? Really, no, really. I didn't. Oh, sorry. I bet you my sister here, watches okay? this. She gonna get. No, my per. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You're under arrest. Why? She. She just left her car. <laughs> How did they choose whose car? He thought. And why didn't they lock that the first time? Like they had her pin. Why didn't they lock it? Four and two, just show me how I did. Ten four. Okay, I will not have fire. Sorry. Yeah, well, you're not listening to anything I'm telling you. I have to put my hands on you. You pulled me And you're resisting. Why, why it was a traffic stop. Yes, you it said. was a traffic stop. I got to No, it wasn't. One. Okay, you can argue that all you want. It's I all will. on camera. There's cameras everywhere. 
Okay. And what did I do? No. Please tell me. Blasting your music and you rolled the red light right here. You didn't even let me explain because no. you got out of the car and started walking away. Because I parked my car? The lights were on well before we even turned the corner. Where's your ID as in your purse? Yes. Okay. And I parked Seems my car because... Quick. Yeah, you're right. That's a lot of room. She just won't stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh. Yeah. Do you mind searching her, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess putting the, the handcuffs on is a little more no. specific than I thought. Are you pretty serious? dumb. Yeah, I'm serious. That was really dumb what you did. What did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. All right. He just explained to you that you were probably blasting the music in this, I don't know, this presumably high income area where they like their quiet hours and it's pro it's 2 a.m. and you're blasting music that's going to cause some commotion and then you pass the red light. Good. Okay, I'm Are you my car. Yeah, I'm serious. What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. Take a seat in the car. And you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this really quick. Now let's just get this one thing out the wall. Like when I was in college, I consumed alcohol. I consumed a lot of alcohol. Anytime there were parties, you know, I did get drunk a lot of the times, and and you know that's that's when I was at school. I don't do it anymore. You know, it's it's not my thing. But the one thing that I didn't do was not be accountable or not be responsible. They say that when you when you when you consume alcohol, you kind of let loose. You don't have a filter. I believe that in some cases, um, I do believe that depending on the person, they kind of let out who they really are or who they would be if they didn't have. You know those barriers those filters those mental filters um when it comes to coming in contact with other people and doing certain stuff but there was never a point where i didn't have myself accountable for something that i may have done while i was intoxicated or not have been responsible about it certain like every decision that i made was 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 i don't want to say calculated to the fullest but it was like Oh, this was a dumb decision. Oh, you're right. This was a dumb decision. Or, you know, you just just that level of accountability. Like if if I if if I'm not accountable when I'm drunk, then very much means that I'm not a very accountable person when I'm not intoxicated. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where it's like if you're doing this thing now, then there's a good chance that you're doing it when you're not intoxicated. Cuz it, it, it's like it's like if you're intoxicated to this extent, how how are you still lying or how are you that you don't still but you know what? Never mind. Forget what I said. Because even those that are still that aren't intoxicated in my previous videos, clearly they still think that they weren't in the wrong. So forget what I'm saying. So you're under arrest right now, okay? So I have to read your Miranda rights to them and explain everything, okay? So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have him or her present with you during any and all questioning. You can choose at any time to exercise your rights and not talk to me. Okay, and if you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand all that? I need a yes or a no. Yes, I heard. Okay, do you understand though? Okay. So I stopped you because your music is louder than 25 feet away. You're blasting with the windows down. Let me explain. And then right here at the red light, you rolled it. Didn't come to a complete stop right out of the line. And then I stopped you. My lights were hit back here. It's all on camera. And then you pulled in. What? So here's the thing. You smell like booze. Your eyes are bloodshot and water. You're slurring your speech. You spilled your drink on the ground. I want to make sure you're okay to be driving. Are you okay with doing a few tests to make sure you're okay to be driving? I am fine, baby. Okay. Are you okay with running a few tests up on the curb? They'll take your cuffs off you. Are you okay with doing a few tests, though? It's a yes or no question. Are you okay with doing tests? It's a yes or a no question. No. You don't want to do tests? I'm a, my rights are I know that. So I'm ready to go. Okay. So with your slurred speech, your open alcohol container, your bloodshot watery eyes, 
your behavior, uh -huh. you're under arrest for DUI as well, okay? So DUI and resisting without violence, okay? Okay, so that was the confusion that I had. I'm like, why is he telling her this thing? He's actually going to do the test. Like, clearly she's drunk. But everything is, it's always one thing after another. So the stops wasn't because she was drunk. It was a traffic violation. That's going to be one charge, the traffic violation. Now her being drunk, that's going to be another violation. And so that's why he's doing the whole, okay, let's do the test and stuff like that. Because I'm like, we already know she's drunk. Why are we doing the test? But because that wasn't part of the initial stop, now we're going into this situation, which is now the the instance of the alcohol. I get it. Ah, it's all. I mean, no, you all right, well, it's all on camera, so have fun with that. I literally told you verbatim, get back in your car, and you didn't listen to me. I was in the park my Sunday. I was parking right there. So why am I not supposed to park at? You can make you, you can make that argument when you go to court, okay? Because it's all on camera, and you can make that argument when you go to court. Holy cow! Your license is revoked. Bruh. What's It'd be the one with the license is revoked that keeps doing this stuff. Why? Why? Like, oh, you have a revoked license. Why are you driving one? Why y'all just be taking risk? This is the stuff like I be talking about. Like when you when you live in a certain way, trying to live a certain life, you're trying to live with this world, you do dumb stuff like this. You literally do dumb stuff like this, where it's like. Your license is revoked and you're driving drunk. Like, what are you? What's up with that? Hennepin County, huh? Minneapolis. That's my neck of the woods. Oh, yeah, don't you hear it in my voice? When I called out your license plate, it said Minnesota. She's from Minnesota and she's a um, You're going to be getting a handful of tickets. Okay, one for the music, one for the red light, one for the open. Open bottle. One for. And, the, and then one rest. for the open container in your car. So I don't know. Oh, baby. No, so listen to me, Christina. Hey, listen to me. I was the cop who passed you outside smoking Joe's before you took off. I saw your drink on your trunk as you're talking to that dude. I looped the parking lot. You're hauling down Maine. I get behind you. What do you know? That drink is in your passenger seat, spilled all over the floor. And there was still alcohol in the cup with the lime. I saw that drink on your trunk, and the ring was still on your trunk. That was not old. Okay? That's fine. I got plenty of probable cause to charge you with it. Okay? I can articulate everything. And your car got impounded, okay? All right. Yeah. I'll let you know what justice you did, though. Okay, hop over there. Blue head. Blue head. Blue ass. Where you from? Where you from? He just said where he was from. He's from where you from. That must be a Minnesota thing. All right, so all you people from Minnesota, if you're watching, you're from Minnesota. Is that something? Is a, is a blue ass? Is a blue head? Sorry. Is a is a, I was about to say it again. <laughs> Is a blue head what y'all call cops over there? Because I've never heard that term before. And it doesn't seem like it would matter. Like, I don't understand why she thought that would mean anything. But I don't know. Let's go to that door, okay? Yeah. Right there. I'm from the Midwest. You know, when I was towing you over, I thought I was going to meet someone really nice. I saw Minnesota. Did We're people? not. Huh? We are nice when we meet nice people. I'm nice. I just wouldn't recommend walking away from a traffic stop next time. So we're gonna go up to this box right there. We're gonna get your fingerprints, Whoa. okay? So finger right here, two fingers, please. There you go. Hold on, what was 10 years? Okay. Third violation within 10 years, okay. So finger right here, two fingers, please. Bruh, yeah. sheesh, man. It's like, it's like, these people just don't learn. They don't learn, but I mean, it's America. This is, this is the world. We do whatever we want. 
I do what I want when I want. So what if the cops catch me and I get arrested? Who cares? That's a crazy way to live. But I mean... I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't choose that lifestyle. And I wouldn't wish for anybody to be living that type of lifestyle. Because there's, there's something called peace that you can have. Where there's, there's, there's no chaos. There's, there's, there's no need for all the alcohol and all the drugs and having to, having to get yourself switched up and changed up just to get some attention and stuff like that. There's love, there's love in God, then the love from Jesus and just accepting that love. It changes people, it changes your, it changes your thought process, changes your output, changes your mood. It changes a lot of stuff. I don't know. I just hopefully this video can hopefully not even a video, just these words and just seeing this video and even all my other videos. This is this is just stuff that I just wish for just for everybody. But I mean, at the end of the day, God has given us free will to do and decide on what we want to do and decide whether we want to be of this world or be of him. So I could preach all, I could preach, I could preach. I could, I could, I could spew the gospel all day and night. At the end of the day, it's really up to the person to decide whether they want to follow this same God, the God that, that created of all things and accept Jesus and have that key to heaven and to even peace while we're here, the pursuit of that peace. Or just continue to have fun and, you know, reach that demise when their day finally comes. Not to say that, I mean, I don't know her life, but, like, there's, there's, there's more, there's more learning about and understanding and trying to become one with God than just going to church than you know doing the whole sunday thing there's way more than that it becomes a lifestyle it, be, it changes your whole you become a whole new when they say that you become a whole new person it's literally becoming a new person you don't think the same way that you thought before you don't do the same things that you did before like your perspective on a lot of stuff just just switches it switches when you become in high pursuit and when you be dig into the word then you understand all the situations and you really have that faith it's a, it's a completely different feeling it's a completely different feeling it's a completely different change from you within you and that's what and that's what i wish for a lot of people to just find to just accept and search for that i don't know it's crazy like phew. This world is crazy, man. But anyways, catch you on the next one. Take care, peace.